Ron Oglesby here, Chief Solution Architect with Unidesk, and in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about Microsoft Virtual Desktops. Microsoft's competition has done a great job of acting like Microsoft doesn't have a VDI or a terminal server slash session host solution, but I'm here to show you how their solution matches up and how Unidesk improves on their solution and makes it much more manageable and scalable. The first thing I'd like to talk about is some of the basic Microsoft RDS components. Now when you talk to a VMware, let's say, they'll talk about secure remote access and their broker and their different ideas and concepts of pools and collections and whatnot, and ignore that Microsoft has those built in to 2012 R2. You have RD Web Access, which is a web interface for applications and virtual desktops. You have a centralized connection broker to route users based on the authentication and group membership that has been assigned access to desktops and applications. And you can manage it all from one interface, whether it's virtual desktops on an RD virtualization host, meaning Hyper-V, or whether it's session-based virtualization using session host, almost like a ZenApp environment. And of course, from a security standpoint, you can add what they call RD gateway servers to wrap the RDP protocol in SSL. Now from a user standpoint, your users may not even know what they're using. They'll either access a web page and launch apps or desktops from there if they're remote users, or maybe they're running thin clients that auto boot and connect right in. The underlying hypervisor performs similarly regardless of which technology you're using. On top of that, the protocol of RDP8 and of course remote fx with hyper v is perfectly fine for like 99 percent of the use cases out there now what's the user experience like well with unidesk and rds it's awesome now users will see a web access page like this and they can use it for both internal or external access Signing in, I can see all the applications that have been made available to me as a user. This site can also distribute desktops. My user account only has access to customer success desktops, but I also have access to all of these applications. Very familiar if you've ever used any type of VMware or Citrix solution. Now, how does this become manageable and scalable with Unidesk? Really simple. All of the components within the Microsoft RDS environment, the connection brokers, web access servers, virtualization hosts, etc., are all fairly scalable. The big complaint up to this point has been management. How do I deal with my applications? How do I make gold images? How do I deal with this environment at scale when I don't have 50 sessions or desktops, but I have hundreds or thousands? That's where Unidesk comes in. Let's jump into our interface. Unidesk manages the RDS desktops and session host servers with layers. Layers are containers. They're virtual disk files that contain the file system objects and registry entries for that given layer. This allows you as the IT admin to build, update, and repair desktops from one interface. Unidesk has specially built our interface to be able to create collections on the Microsoft RDS side create desktops that are then pushed in those collections, and it's all done through our layering platform where you'll create one OS layer of each type and application layers that then can be distributed. The key with this model is that all desktop and application management are done from within the Unidesk interface. We have a highly scalable infrastructure on the Hyper-V RDS side and a very simple management model on the Unidesk side. People often ask about our application layers and OS layers and how are they created and how compatible are they. And that's where I want to wrap up this video. Application layers and OS layers are just virtual machine disks that contain those file system objects and registry entries for that given layer. But how are they created? For an OS layer, you simply build a virtual machine on Hyper-V, install our tools and an answer file that tells it what domain to join, etc. And that's it we then import it into one of these layers. If you ever want to update the layer, simply select it, select add a version. It will boot that layer into an installation machine, which is just a virtual machine. And you log into that VM and update the layer. 
run your Windows updates, add your patches, you can then deploy it to all your desktops. If you want to package up new applications or update applications, it works the same way. There's no pre-scan, no post-scan, no sequencing, no wondering about how do I get my file associations down? How does this work? These two apps need to communicate with each other. You simply click create a layer, give it a name, give it a version, pick the OS you want to build the layer for, pick any prerequisite layers. So if you were installing a plugin for Microsoft Office or you depended on the Adobe Reader product to already be there, just select it. Give it an icon and click create a layer. And that's it. It's actually going to boot that virtual machine. You log in, install your app as you normally would, and come back here and tell it when you're done. When you're done, that layer can then be distributed to any of your desktops or session hosts. What do these applications look like when they're applied to a session host or a desktop? And that's what's key. They actually look like they're installed in the image. This is an example of one of my desktops where we have our Adobe package, we have items from the gold image, and we even have things like AppSense agents deployed as a layer. When an application is packaged using layering and applied to a desktop or session host, it will look, act, and behave as if it was in the gold image. So the more complex your environment, the more various desktop configurations you have, the more gold images you typically wind up with. In a Unidesk and RDS world, that's not the case. You now have the ability to manage the applications once, manage the operating systems once, but still have a large and diverse environment. This is Unidesk. This is Unidesk on Hyper-V with RDS, a scalable, simple, and cheaper solution than anything on the market today.